Hello everyone and welcome back to this Mortal Empires campaign with Techless. Um, I think we're going to have to turn and attack someone. Because I, I don't want to take that. We've got 25 turns to wait until I can go attrition free over the water. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a look at the diplomacy. Come down to the lizard man. Let's see which one's right. We've got an alliance with this one. So we're going to leave them be. And he's got just a trade agreement with Itza. And that's it. Okay. The sentinels, they're all the way over there. Itza. He does have some settlements I would quite like down here. Ah, but it's linked with him. There, he's got that one. It's a pain. It's a we're trading with. Same with them. For them, I could take loads of settlements. Nah. Oh, Hex Wow likes us. They might maybe trade? Accepted. Brilliant. If we attack this faction here, we'll be able to get. Uh, these two, but see, it's all the same. The, the faction I'm allied with here, they've got little bits of everything that I would want to take. This province here, they've got one, which is annoying. And up here, they've got two, so it'd be better to go to war down here and take these. Then we could always come over and take these mines. They will be orange, but we will get some nice trade resources from it. Iron from this one. Well, iron from this one. I'm pretty sure that one of them has a gold mine. Ah, I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. And over here is red, so we're not going to want to push that far. So, so let's take you and start bringing you down. We'll get you some reinforcements. That will also give me time to get my new buildings down here, recruitment, so we can get rid of these spearmen and get like sword masters of Hoef and white lions in here. And we'll go for the mainly melee focused army, apart from this sort of side of things. But for most of my armies, I'm going to go ranged mad. We'll just go in melee sort of focus here, because this guy's got the debuff for the spearmen. It's not huge, it's a debuff for the sword masters as well. But it is a debuff nonetheless. No rights to perform. We're doing research. No buildings to be built. We're moving into position to declare the war. Let's pause the recording here. Right, the dam. Clan Pestilence is raiding, which is a wee bit of a problem. Oh, and did I see rebellion there? Imminent rebellion. Ah, we must restore order. I didn't realize we we're about to rebel down here. Do we have the garrison building? No, we don't. Get me that. Let's recruit a lord, Hawkeye. Let's bring you back from retirement for now. Stick you in there. And we shall get you some armoured archers and an eagle claw bloat floor. Hopefully, we do have a bit of a garrison. The people are restive. So the army won't be able to go straight in. That'll give us time to recruit something there and time for this guy to get his backside down here and to crush that rebellion for me. Negative three plus two. So at least public order here is finally good. That is what's causing the public order up here. If we take a look at the negative three, raiding's causing exactly three, and corruption, well, he's increasing my corruption, that's a pain. This should help quite a bit, once I've got that up, we can get this up, we can get that up, yes, yeah, so this will be fine, it'll be fine. Right, technology. Porcelain kilns, 10% to our settlement money making extravaganza things, whatever you want to call it, it will be lovely. Very lovely indeed. And uh, 
Success. Oh, it's gone now. It's gone. It's time to end turn again. We're back. The Headhunter Jungle Rebellion has started. As well as the Scourge of Cain being destroyed. There's Raven Koss. Gracie are always wrong. Hmm. Keep recruiting, wait for him to attack. We descend into anarchy. We descend into anarchy. I don't think there's anything else for me to do this turn. The turn to our research is done, which our profits will skyrocket. So you know what? Negative ten, ouch. Because Tyrion's left. We're going to raise the army up here to... Oh, wow. That's good. Oh, wow. That is very good. 60 influence a turn, though. Strong. Well, I thought we had two we could recruit. Where's our other one? Ah, here they are. They're recovering two turns. Okay, we'll just need to wait a wee bit longer. Then we'll get one of them and start recruiting stuff just to get rid of this damn pesky army. My infinite knowledge is yours. Then we'll heal you up a wee bit, get rid of this army, then we'll attack here. We just have a big army. We might keep this second army just to ease the transaction, ease the warfare over a wee bit. We are making a lot of money. So we can afford to have the armies. Okay, right, pause recording again for now. And we're back, and the Awakening has leveled up. Lovely. It's exactly what we need. I want the money in the trinkets. Porcelain kilns. Eliminate Lord Scroke and we'll get the Sword of Antiheroes. That's a really good sword. Right, did we have a quest battle to do is Construct two strain of Azurian. Right, no we didn't. Yes. We probably will do soon though. So. Stick him on normal recruited movement. You're not going to be able to recruit again, but we will add some spearmen for next time. We'll build that up. That's the mail just came through the door. So for here, we'll just leave it as is. New research. Oh, 10% in money from entertainment buildings. Well, we're going to have entertainment buildings everywhere, so that'll be very nice. The people are Plus, with that buff from this building here, that'll be very nice. Buff our entertainment buildings, because they do provide 240 everywhere once they're done. In some areas, we might need two of them. Especially the orange areas over there. Twenty-two turns, so we can do that. We're going to want to be ready to go over the waters when we do so. Let's just check Clan Pestilence. They do have one settlement. Oh, they're willing to give me a peace tree. Hopefully, that'll stop them from raiding me. Accepted. We may still recruit that army and just go over and wipe them out anyway. But hopefully that'll stop them from raiding me for now. Which is exactly what we need. And we need that. And then we can focus all our efforts down here. Right, let's pause recording for now again. 
And we're back. There's been a confederation between Lothurn and Nagarath. The Nagarath Elves. Ready for duty. Oh, we're just in range and no more. That's good. So feel Teclis's power. Battle calls me. Saint Laurel. Surprised they actually got to recruit that turn and they didn't. This army didn't come in. Right, you come over here. Saint Larry! Right, lovely. Replenish. Mage. Okay, what do we want to get you? Skill wise, what do we want to get you? Glamour of Hoeth. 10 melee defense and physical resistance, that's quite good. That is quite a good thing. And then the constant leadership buff around them. But I think Wild at Heart, Life Leeching and Life Bloom are pretty important to get. So every time you cast a spell I get those extra benefits. More bang for my buck out of my magic. Maximum bang for buck. Right. Well known. Route marcher. And we'll we march, march you back on over here. Saint Larry. We are ill at ease, apparently. Right, they should have stopped raiding me. Good, they have. Just in time for these guys to come over and finish them anyway. So we just got a wee bit extra money out of them. Which just means we're only at negative six here. Let's take a look at that. That's going from 5 to generating me 8. Which will give me free of the public order I need. But where am I going to get the other? Ah, oh, this will help me. This will reduce the untainted quite a bit. Because it's going to go from negative 2 to negative 8 untainted with 1 in adjacent provinces. We're building one of them. Oh, we didn't build one of them here. But we built one. we're going to build one down here. Which will help up there as well. As the door goes. Right, end turn time. Right, uh, I started getting ready for my next trip out. Which is why I'm wearing my fleece now. I'm sitting here with one shoe on. Because in about 13 minutes, I need to go and pick up my wee one. Do the nursery run. This has taken longer than I thought. Plus I had to pause for longer than just an end turn for a bit there because there was something going on on the YouTube I'm talking about so it's taking longer, I don't think I'm going to have time to do a full part could go for cultural advancement so we can get some of this stuff now yeah some of these are quite good with all factions Sea guard, armor for reavers, to experience for Lothar and Sea guard. They're quite. That would be quite good too. Upkeep for dragons would be really good when we eventually do get dragons. Heal and stab. Oh, cavalry salve, not stab. We'll go for that for the replenishment rate. Right. We'll take Techless. We'll move you there. Take you. A wise course. We'll move you there. Next turn we can declare war and go in. Just double check they've not got a new alliance or anything. Where are they? It's uh it's uh Yep, not allied with anyone. Brilliant. Perfection. We must restore order. Right, we're gonna recruit a lord here now. We've got the two. Missile damage for Lothar and Seaguard, Lillian Reavers, and Chariot units. 
Ardent upkeep for archers, long sea guard, Illyrian reavers, ten range. Right, we're gonna bring you back first. I serve the Phoenix King. We'll start recruiting you some archers from the global recruitment. Then hopefully we'll get that to level this so we can get use. Because uh, I don't want to recruit Seaguard with uh, just spears, but I can get Seaguard with spear and shield. So, for what's probably the last time this part, let's end turn. Right, and we're back. And you know what? I decided that this will be my last turn for now, but later on today, I can always just finish off the recording. Promising so I thought, there's, why not just do that? Knowledge of the Elven Affairs. Knowledge of man's affairs. Knowledge of... You know, that'd be quite good. To get this and then the Diplomatic of Lizardmen. We could also get him speed. He's got his steed. We could get him his eagle at 13. Also for Merlin de French. You know what, we probably should get him Woundmaker. Woundmaker it is! Let's see if there's any building stuff I need to do. In my three provinces, all seems fine. It's a long shot, but I had one other idea. Welcome to the court of Alta. What is Aww. Did I offer you a ton of money? Still low. Can I offer a Everloin? Greetings, fellow Asur. No. It was worth a shot. All oh, the knights are fleeing. Why? Bow before the rightful lords of this land. You insult me. You insult me by not accepting my trade agreement. You seek knowledge. I do seek knowledge. I seek war. My allies. I'm not going to call my allies to hell. Boom. Attack. Feel my power. Feel my power. Sack this place. I can feel it. Right, lovely. Right, this. Tear that down. Build me that. Princess. Let's move you there. Their armies are all the way up here, opposite side of me. That's really good. For me, anyway. We've got to rank up for you. We're going to get life leeching, so that will increase our power recharge rate, and that so more spells, more spell. Oh, we are the guardians of order. oh that's a wee bit worrying. There's a full stack of uh, them right there. As long as they're not going after me, but it looks like they might be soon because I've left my lands rather undefended. We've got money for now, though, so let's uh, recruit that other lord we had. Saint Larry. Start recruiting the more archers. And I shall pause recording here. And so I know tonight, when I get free time again, I need to record another about 12 minutes. So, yes, uh, I'll see you all. Well, I'll speak to you again in about seven hours. I am use it'll be a few seconds. Oh, I see Raven. And we're back. What is several hours for me is only a few seconds for you. Yes, yeah, I think it was a wee bit more than seven hours. I think it was about nine. But, oh, wells, Clan Pestilence. Huh? Casualty replenishment, and this army is heading towards me. Not good, but we do have garrison buildings. And they are all Ungors, so it's giving me a wee bitty bit of time. The Defender of Truth. The Defender of Truth. Give me a root marcher. A recruiting up there. It's from down here. Hmm. 
Get that to start me off. High Lawmaster of Hoeth. Let's head you around this way. Ready for orders. Let's jump you. Ah, wait, no, not gonna work. Treading lightly. Because I'm already recruiting there. And there is no recruitment options. I was going to recruit just a wee bit more troops just to make this a wee bit more safer because I can't see where their armies are. But I'm hoping they're coming this way. I doubt they'll be coming that way. But if not, we can always pull back and hold here. Where now? Where now? Teclis, High Lawmaster. Off I go. go. We'll keep heading this way, see if we can force them to come this way. And it's it's a. Uh... We'll try and take that as quickly as we can. Right, research. Melee defense for sea guardians. I'm going to be using them on other units. So. Yes. For now. We are recruiting, we are building. We must restore order. We must restore order. I think that's an end turn for now. And we're back. Let's actually just check, see if we can get peace tree in here. Nope. We do have a rank up at the awakening. If it had been a turn away, I would have moved you to the swamp. Uh, if it had been a thing I could change, I'd have moved you to the swamps. High lawmaster of poet. High Oh, attrition. Attrition are us. Where is non attrition land? Let's move on up there. So it's non attrition land. Plus we've got a defensive alliance here, so we should recover. Yes, we're recovering. Brilliant, and we'll move to there. We've got to Itza. What orders? Assyrian guides us. Assyrian guides us, right? Oh, pull back. Entering the city. We'll go and just defend from here. The army does not have range to catch it. Brilliant. It marks the order. Brilliant. Rank that up. And why can I not rank that up? There we go. And for the last slot, what should I build? I think it should be a grove to get white lions. Of trees. Guessing he's going to start besieging, and I'll have to come down and kick his booty. Next turn. But, uh, anyways. Onward. Let's move you there. Just out of his range. On the go. Range all the things. Yeah, I really need Spearman. It's Maritime Empire. All sea regions are available to us. That'll be very good. We'll go for that one. Then we can trade with all the people. Oh, but that'll make interns take very long time. We already take a long time. We'll wait. Princess of Alfwan. Princess of Alfwan. Right, time to intern again. And we're back, and they did decide to start sieging. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Lady of the Phoenix Court. So we're gonna get you a route to march her. Not that that's helping much for now. Hopefully, you and your buddy will get Orders. here in time. Duty calls. Next turn, we'll be able to pounce. As for down here. Das is neat Taking good. You are gonna take up residence. And you're gonna hold for all you've got. Hold. Defender of the Ever 
We're also going to start recruiting you some reinforcements to head on over next turn. As Tyrion keeps applying the pressure, it says got a gold mine. Lovely. Such a big settlement too. I forgot because it's technically, it's a capital, isn't it? It's a lizardman capital, even though neither of the lizardman factions reside there. I think it is anyway. Pizza. It's a pizza. Very big settlement. Very good for us to take. At your service. Why do we not have a trade agreement? Wise and merciful. Why is what it low? Why is it low? I've got so many trade resources that they're bound to like. Why is it deteriorating? Because I'm a great power. Ulf one's defense. I am Tyrion, champion of the Everqueen. Speak. You need me. Greetings, fellow Asur. All right, and all right. I think that's us ready to end turn. So let's do so. Okay, we're going to end the part here a wee bit earlier because I think this battle is going to take longer than I have time. Um, I'm not quite sure what army this is. I'm thinking this is probably the army that was besieging, has stopped besieging, turned around and attacked my army that was coming over. If so, I'm going to try and bleed them as much as possible because I don't have much hope of winning. So yes... Hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me next time where we're going to bleed these lizard men for all they've... Eh, lizard men, these beast men for all they've got. And then give the second army the chance to get into the settlement and just say giant middle... Eh, pardon me. Giant middle finger to you. Because you don't have the forces left to take here. Especially with this southern army in here. Bye-bye. I'll see you all next time.